Oh, good morning, everyone. A little earlier than my schedule, but I thought I'd get a couple minutes heads up so I could start off talking and then get into the Dragoon time. We're just going to be farming a little bit in the beginning anyway, so I wanted to devote a little bit of extra time so that I could actually make it to the spot we got to go farming. As the title said, we're going to be hunting. I think it's a rainbow bird and another bird. There's two birds. We're looking for money. <laughs> got to get some cash built up in the game. Welcome, Angry, to the stream. Yeah, you caught me right here at the beginning. Oh, yeah, I woke up. I was... I almost slept in. <laughs> almost, almost. And then my Fitbit went off. And I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you have a Ledger Dragoon stream here in a little bit. And then I went over and hung out with... Uh, I believe you say his name, Yin, because he just started streaming again regularly. Matter of fact, I want to give him a shout out. Because he just started to do like regular schedules. Yeah. He has great just chatting sessions. He's very relaxing to watch. So if you guys like to just sit around and talk and watch random gameplay, he's very good for that. He has a very soothing voice. It was a good way to wake up, actually. So I was over there for a little bit. He was playing a new game, and it's called uh, Sh Shadow Kingdoms. Hold on. I want to open my Steam again. I just added it to my wish. Shadow Empire. Yeah, that's what it was. I added that to my wish list because it was so cool looking. Because it was a very old school, hexagonal based strategy game. You're going to go check them out? That's awesome. I started early today too. Already did three hours. <gasps> well, hopefully I can catch the, the next one. I'm sorry I didn't catch your first one. I was probably just crawling literally out of bed. Because <laughs> I, I think I crawled out of my bed today. Uh, it was a kind of another trying night. We had a lot of the uh, truck left over to put away. So I didn't. I woke up and I saw Yin was on. And I was like, oh, I haven't seen him in a while. So got on. Went over and chilled with him for a bit while I was having my coffee. And then I was like, oh, yeah, it's getting close. I got to go and do some farming in Dragoon. So that's what we'll be doing here in just a minute. As I enjoy the menu music. If Radiation was here, he'd be picking on me. i just start the streams like this for the music, basically, right? <laughs> Welcome to Tin Sarah's channel, where we'll listen to three hours of Ledger of Shagoon music. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that, and then that would, uh, that, that would set him off. Hello, cat. Welcome to the stream. I hope you are having a better day and, and you feel well. And Lady Lynn, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Dragoon music or bust. Dragoon music or bust. Yes, I agree. It's great. Matter of fact, let me switch over there. Oh. I like in my AM streams, you guys get to see me waking up still, because it takes me like two cups of coffee to wake up. I don't know, was, was Lady Lynn here when I added my new highlight, the chat? Let's see, This is. I think I still have it working. I like this thing so much. Hee hee hee. That's so much fun, I like doing that. There you go. Dragoon music or bust. Radiation pops in and sees that he'll laugh. <laughs> Yay! 
Yeah, I think it's an older feature and I just never, I didn't even know it was there. I was exploring Streamlabs the other day and I found it and I'm like, right before the just chatting uh, reward stream. And I was like, oh, that is so cool. It's kind of helpful too, because people give me hints and tips and I can pin them to the screen and be like, oh yeah, I can look right up and see it instead of scrolling for 20 minutes. <clears throat> oh, you've been at work? Well, you know, that happens. It's called life. <laughs> That's, I've almost been at work <laughs> when I'm streaming. Hello, Chu. Hi, Chu. How are you doing? <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful day. Tired? Oh my gosh, it's a whole stream full of people who have been working and tired. What's life? <laughs> what is this thing you call life? I don't like it. <laughs> no, I, I like life. It just happens sometimes uh, all at once more than you intend it to. You're sleepy too? Oh boy, we're all sleepy. So that means if I leave the menu music on, we're all gonna fall asleep, right? If I just pause and go into the menu music? We'll just all sleep on stream, how about that? We, we don't have to play Dragoon today. We can just sleep to it. Twitch doesn't say I actually have to play the game. They just say I have to have, you know, <laughs> the right title for the game being displayed. Uh, took five hours to finish the Pokemon Snap Ghost Edition Fatal Frame. And I had to be up at 7 a.m. for work. My blood is full of cold brewing <laughs> Uh, I can I can totally relate to the other night my trucks I don't know if you were popped in for the other stream but my truck was two of them the last two trucks of the night number two and number three who are normally very punctual were 12 hours late so it was a 14 hour shift and we did not get finished <laughs> so yesterday uh or last night, I had to go back in with, thank God, one of my other co-workers volunteered to come with me. And we went early and got most of the trucks put away. Yeah. Uh, supposedly, from what the drivers were telling us, they're just suffering a, a large worker deficit at the loading dock, so... Like, really large, to the point where I guess the drivers had to help pack up the trucks. Which made sense, because we had to help unload it. Like, I mean, really help unload it. Like, they couldn't even bring it into the store. There was only one drive, just, just the driver. There was no unloader. Coffee for everyone. Yes, Lady Lynn, everybody gets coffee. Let's see, I miss anyone. Hi, Flame. How are you doing? Hope your day is going well. It's time. Is it tea time? Because we're having coffee time, and we've all decided to just take a nap. Can't drink coffee, cat? Oh, I'm sorry, cat, that you can't have coffee. It does smell good, unless it burns. Then it smells like poo. I do that a lot. I drink down to like the last ounce of coffee in the coffee pot, and then I forget to turn it off, and it smells so bad. <laughs> oh, your stomach doesn't take it. doesn't help that I work from home and I'm usually in my PJs bundled in a blanket <laughs> yeah that would make it really easy to go right back to sleep uh, flame I'm doing well but part two of the mission starts now the mission 
flame is always on a mission. I'm trying to remember what I was doing. I'm sort of kind of awake. I've had I'm on my second cup of coffee, so I'm a little awake. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's dress for success. Dress for success day is wearing PJs and and sleeping in and having, well, we've all had too much coffee, it sounds like, and too much, not enough sleep. I should probably add an I bed command. I thought I had, actually. Part two of the one that you were a part of, hi. Oh, so Chu is in the plan. ADHD makes it less successful. A good cry. Okay. Ugh, my avatar even looks tired. Let's see, I was, oh, I'm on Shauna. I think part two, Flame... Yeah, I was just going to say, Flame had mentioned that he wanted to call me. I think I have it set up for a Discord call. And as VIP of the channel and a close internet friend that I know from VR chat, I'm willing to take the call on stream. Just a friendly reminder to please keep it PG. I don't worry about that with Flame, though. think I have it set up for that. Warning flame, I'm not quite awake. I think I have to switch back to the other scene. I don't think I have this scene set for uh, to accept on Discord, or at least so you guys could hear it. I believe this is set so you guys can hear it. I just hope it doesn't cause reverb. Is there any weird noises, guys, in chat? If anybody's active and can let me know if it sounds weird. I may have to mute the game sound. I'm not very good at taking the calls and stuff. I only just figured out how to do all the personal calls. Oops, I missed a call. See, it didn't come through. Oh, that's why, because streamer mode's enabled. Can I not take calls while the streamer mode's enabled on Discord? Probably not. Oh, you could try again, Flame. Hello, Flame. Welcome your voice to my stream. <laughs> if you can hear me. Alright, can I hear you now? Oh, you're coming over my TV. That uh, might be problematic. Let me see. Maybe a little problematic. <laughs> Is it? Well, yeah, because it's going to get picked up by the mic. Hold on one second. It should be putting my headset over. What did I change in audio and voice? Technical difficulties abound. 
Aha, I found it. Try get it, say something, Flame. I am currently speaking in a voice that allows you to be able to hear me. <laughs> you are indeed. Okay, chat, did okay. I did I have that? Can you hear both of us? <laughs> they can hear me. Well, it's kind of similar to the setup I use with Fruity. I think I've got it set right when we're doing Age of Empires together, so. Right. You guys, so, uh, well, welcome, Flame. This, <laughs> this is my close friend, and we play VR chat together. So I, that's why I've trusted him to come on to the stream with me. Hello, I am Flame Jones Six Two Six. How are you all doing today? This is the famous Immortal Flame. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Anyways, Tin, how are you doing today? Are you doing well? Yes. I'm like I had stated before. I was trying to. Wake up, I'm sure you heard that, but I've had two cups I of did, coffee. I did. So I'm I'm doing coffee well. Is very good. <laughs> That's good to hear. That is definitely very good to hear. So the mission that I've been alluding to for so long, you already know what it was. At least you know what the first part is. But the second part, I was a little bit vague on what it was. Oh, you were more than a little vague. You told me you had a plan. You asked for some advice for part one. I gave it. And then you were like, okay, there's a part two. And then I was pretty much it. And yeah, and, and it involves a Discord call. It. And I was like, okay, Discord <laughs> call. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, the only reason why I said that it required a Discord call was because it's a little easier to go through all of the steps that I need to go through with you over a call instead of just being text on a screen, if you catch my drift. Yeah, uh, there's certain things I know you can't convey in a message online, so. And I was I was willing to go through with this since part one was so generous. Indeed, and for those of you that didn't know what part one was, basically I told Tin that I had 50,000 bits at her disposal. She was to send me names of people who she thought that she, who she thought deserved the bits, and I distributed it evenly among 10 people that she gave me on a list which is why every single one of the people who are in here that got 5,000 bits got 5,000 bits it indeed this this was what part one what i was notified of part one it was quite a shock yes. <laughs> <laughs> but part two is a little bit more intricate than that uh-oh so before I go into the summary of what the data that I collected was, what is the best part about streaming from your point of view, Tensera? Oh my gosh, you've asked me this before, I think. <laughs> Didn't you ask me this once in chat? I think in VR chat. It's possible, but let's just go ahead and do it for this part of the plan. <clears throat> of course. And, you, and it's only fair since you went around and asked all these people. <laughs> the same question that I answer it on stream for you. The best part of streaming, there's a lot of good parts about it. Um, but I, if I have to pick one, it's the community, it's my, the, the viewers, it's the friendship, the links that I've created. In real life, I'm a very awkward person. It's very hard for me to go up to somebody and talk to them. Uh, it's not that I'm shy. It's that I feel like I have to explain myself for 30 minutes <laughs> just so that they have even the remote inkling of what I am. Where online, when I'm talking with people, whether it be in VR chat or while I'm playing these video games, you guys kind of just see what I am. I don't have to explain it. You just accept what you see on the screen. In this case, my avatar and my voice. And all of that does the speaking for me. So I'm able to reach out and make friends and new connections a lot easier than I can in real life. And that helps with anxiety. I deal with gender dysphoria. And it's just really hard to make friends. So I guess the best part, to summarize, of streaming is the friendships and the connections that I've made. 
Without streaming, those would not exist. Yes, yes. Now, that is the answer that I was expecting from you. Because, <laughs> I'll be quite honest, I've known you for a little bit now. I've kind of paid a little bit more attention to you as the months have gone on. And I kind of expected this answer. And that's not necessarily a bad thing to say. See, I'm an open book, I told you. <laughs> yes, of course. But the... The good thing about this was that pretty much every single person that I came up to in their streams with the mission pretty much had the same answers. That they enjoyed the community, that they enjoyed playing games with the community, and that this was sort of an outlet for them to kind of get over something that they have, whether it's anxiety or some sort of personality dysmorphia or something like that. which makes sense because the internet kind of gives you a little bit of a mask that you can use a form of anonymity Indeed. that allows you to be a little bit more of what you want to be rather than just conforming to what you think you need to be i i agree that's most of the people that i gave you on that list i felt were in a similar situation as myself and had similar views about streaming of course of course and it really does show. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this with you was because I feel like that you and I are kind of similar in a personality sort of manner. I was gonna say to we're, we're we far are... from similar, but maybe we have the <laughs> same honor system. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. But I wanted to do this with you because I wanted to get uh, for one, for the big plan, which nobody knows about, which nobody will ever know about for a long time. I was going to say, I have no idea what the big plan is. Just just so Chad understands, I have, outside of what we're doing right now, I have no idea what's going on with the plan. <laughs> but yes, this mission is a part of the big plan, and everybody has played a little role in it thus far. <laughs> schemes within Indeed, schemes. Schemes within schemes. <laughs> Thank you, Fruity. <laughs> and by the way, hi, Fruity. And welcome, Morgan. But like continue. Yes. I'm sorry. With every single situation that I have been put into with this, I wanted to be able to help every single person get a little bit further within what they wanted to do within streaming. Reaching for the stars, I... as you said. Yes, yes. And that's part of what I actually want to be in real life. Not necessarily somebody that just goes out and does nice things, but I want it to mean something, even if it's just the smallest little thing. Over time, the small things get big things, and that's just how things end up. What I want to be is I want to be a guardian, a protector, whether it's somebody physical or somebody's mental state or dreams or aspirations anything like that i want to be able to help protect people that's just it oh i can totally see that from your personality <laughs> thank you it's been a long time coming for that type of personality to actually be a thing because i was not this charismatic when i was younger for sure i was very underspoken and very uh irritable I had anger problems, and I did not like any of what I was going on with, and I ended up getting better. Like like I probably mentioned on one of Kat's streams, I faked it until I made it. And I believe I remember Kat saying before that that was being dishonest, but I also had the necessity to do that, and eventually that just became my personality. Well, it's impressive because you're you're a very honor bound person. In the I time that nice. we've known you, like for our group, you're kind of well, Catelyn, who's in chat. She's basically our our center for our group, and I feel like you're the glue that holds it together, <laughs> or in in your words, protects it. I try my best for sure. All right, so that was part one of the mission. But part two was that 
part that you didn't know, which was the summarization, plus a little bit of something else. Uh -oh. Now, you probably would have never ex expected this sort of thing, but this is also the reason why that I needed to do this while you were streaming. So. Not gonna you, lie, a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so was everybody else when I came into their stream. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I from me you. to you, Tinsera. Okay. From me to you. Keep reaching for the stars. I'll definitely be there to help you make them a little bit closer. Oh. And I really hope that this will help make them a little closer as well. Oh no. The other half of the bits. What? At my disposal. <sighs> I. I can't breathe. <laughs> uh, flame. <laughs> Why? I I'm speechless, flame. I mean, that's. I don't know the bits exactly, but I'm pretty sure that that's more than I make in my real job in a month. <laughs> no, that's only five hundred bucks. It's, okay, that's like uh, uh, two paychecks almost. I don't make very much money. <laughs> I'm only a receiver. I... Friend, I don't know where you get this generosity from. It's, undes it's undescribable. Oh my god, now I'm getting subs. <laughs> two... <laughs> You guys are gonna be crying on stream. That's all right. You can cry if you want, Tim. That's fine. They're happy tears. So let them flow. But as long as you just keep your head high with pride, because you've earned this. Well, thank you, Flame. Oh, I'm. I don't have the full VR setup. I can't even go in VR and hug you. <laughs> you know that I wouldn't accept. That I advice. I know I know you don't like hugs. <laughs> Oh well, you can you I'll run around you as my chocobo. <laughs> oh my gosh, all of these subs and then all the bits. <laughs> well Flame, I'm going to use that for reaching for the stars. I'm going to use all of that to improve this channel. <clears throat> and uh, put it back into the community because that was extremely unexpected. I just thought you had a message or something that you wanted to put up on the stream. <laughs> I mean, technically, I did. It, it's a message, it is. It was an unexpected, <laughs> highly unexpected message. Oh my gosh. Indeed. I'm kind of glad that my avatar is weak and it doesn't show that I'm like, what, my tears? <laughs> oh. Yeah, not what I expected. I'm barely awake for that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Flame. You're a wonderful human being. And I'm so glad that I met you and everybody else who's in the community. I, uh, it's, it's just a short while ago, I was starting to give up on everything and I didn't even think I could keep going. And then, as I said, I started streaming and I met all these wonderful people. And it gave me some meaning to improve others' lives. Not quite as much as you seem to be able to improve them. <laughs> I mean, I do what I can, but I can't really do this on, like, such a large scale that I want to be able to do. Oh on these gosh. smaller scales, I can be able to do it, but it's a little bit more strenuous when it comes to larger scale. <sighs> well, uh, if, if you wanted to get me to cry, there you go. Uh, <laughs> it's very hard to get me to cry. <sighs> but that well, did it. Emotional overload. Check. To be fair, that wasn't my intention, but I did. It's okay, they're happy tears. The situation. <laughs> I just, I don't know what I did to be blessed with such good friends and good company. That's Speaking just which. the thing, Tim. We choose to stay. It has nothing to do with what goes on. It's just our choice. Oh, thank you, chat, for being here to see this. <laughs> 
by the way. I, I, I've ignored the chat. I was kind of out of it for a minute. <laughs> I'm reaching for the stars, so that means my head's probably up in the clouds somewhere. Oh my gosh. Well, Flame, do you, do you have anything? How am I going to play Dragoon after this? You will play Dragoon because that is what you scheduled to play today. It that is. is final plan. It's what I told Twitch I'd play today. I'm like, I'm going to play it, tears and all. <laughs> Once I can see the screen. Oh. I can barely see the chat. <sighs> I didn't have any tissues. I wasn't expecting to have a dramatic opening to the stream today. A good dramatic, like not not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm awake still. <laughs> you woke I chew up. There you go. <laughs> He's just completing missions a, everywhere. I don't know if that's a compliment or anything like that, but I'll take it. I'll take it. It is, because she said she was having trouble with you. <laughs> Even though she's filled with cold brews. <laughs> Cat thanked you for making me cry. <laughs> that sounds sure like she Kat. would yell at me if I did it the wrong way, so... <laughs> more, more than likely. <laughs> what did you do to my mod? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cause now I'm even doing her Discord, so, like, I'm double mod. <laughs> yeah, I get to brag, I'm double mod. I'm mod in the nice. chat, mod in the Discord. <laughs> oh. It's Fruity, I, that was lovely, I don't know what to say. Fruity, you and me both. <laughs> this is very unexpected. I never thought, ever, to be looking at my stream leaderboard and see 52,000 bits sitting there. <laughs> I mean, much less a hundred. You don't do it for the bits. I mean, they're appreciated and I put them back into the stream and the money that you guys have uh, donated to the stream and the subscriptions, I've been using that to hire artists to help me because I'm very not artistically inclined. I actually have Zathy working on my panels, so that's going to help pay for those, definitely. Oh my gosh. Oh, do you have anything else to say before I try to actually do what I'm scheduled to do? Nah, I think I've taken up enough of your time. I'm going to go ahead and let you go and get back to the stream. Well, thank you very much, Flame, again. I, I don't have words to thank you enough. And you can't get a hug, so I, I don't know what else to do for you. I've made you VIP. I'm glad I have made you at least the VIP of the room. Oh, what a way to start the morning. <laughs> thank you for right, joining me on stream, Flame. <laughs> Not a problem. You take care, Ted. You too, Flame. I'll see you later. Well, I'll see you in chat. <laughs> see you in chat. Yeah. The immortal flame has spoken. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to try to make sure I've got this set back up now. <clears throat> I'm still looking for a tissue and I can't find one, so the sleeve's working. I'm going to be a snot. Like, just, I, I'm sorry, I feel snot, like, coming out of my nose. Yeah, lesson learned. I need a box of tissues. Let me make sure that the uh, audio in volume is okay. <laughs> oh boy, not how I expected the morning to go. <laughs> in a good way. Oh, I'm trying to breathe. Oh. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> that was... Uh, so as you you guys heard, I was in with part one a bit, and I kind of knew what he was doing, but part two was a mystery to me. I just knew that there was a request for a call during a live stream. And I, to tell you guys the honest truth, I thought it was going to be something rather goofy. I love you, Flame, but I really thought it would be something very odd and goofy. <sighs> in hell for five. 
Hold three, exhale five. I'm gonna try. Thank you, Chu. I just have to breathe. I am prone to anxiety attacks. I, I haven't had one in a while. Uh, thankfully, I had a very, very good therapist for a while, so... Um, oh, they typically only happen in real life. <sighs> used to be a long, long time ago, years ago. I used to have them every time I looked in the mirror. Finger guns. <laughs> Thank you, Chu. Okay, I think I'm back. We're looking at Dart. <laughs> and me having a... Minor panic attack. <sighs> Opens the rib cage. Yes. <coughs> <sighs> yeah, I just I wasn't getting enough oxygen there. That's probably why I got lightheaded. I mean, besides having fifty thousand bits just thrown all over top of me. Oh, have some water. That's a good idea. I don't even need the reward for that. I, I just need a drink of water. Now that I can actually breathe and it'll go down the right pipe. Okay. Sorry, chat. Thank you all for bearing with me for a minute. Just a little overwhelmed. That, that part of the brain that goes through... Uh, uh, processing rapid events just had a complete like I need cat's windows error thing I don't think I have that but that's just what happened in my brain my brain just had a blue screen oh have to go make some food cat have a wonderful meal enjoy yourself I can't think about food right now I'm having a hard time thinking that I have to play a game. Okay, that's what we, we all came here for. I'll see you later, cat. Okay. I was going to go hunting chickens. <laughs> or birds. It was something. Oh. Oh no, I have to go back through the villitude again. Well, gee, fun. <laughs> Oh, trying to remember what you said. I'm trying to breathe. Maybe this won't be so bad. I can get through here. I don't have any charm potions, so I'll, I'll probably get aggroed every 10 seconds. But I just said aggroed and I realized that was from one of my old MMOs. I think people still say aggro, don't they? When you get aggressed by a creature. It's okay, I've got to get my hands back into the game now. I'm going to fail all of these. Every single one. <laughs> nope. Okay, we're alright. We're alright. If I can do whip smack, then I must be okay now. It's still the term used. Good. I'm not totally out of date. I thought people still said aggro, but when I said it, I, I heard it, and I'm like, wait, do people even use that? <laughs> Every now and then I, I will use terminology from an older game and just totally forget that it might not actually be used in the current game I'm playing or even in the current era I'm in. Hey, that's what happens when you're a 300 year old elf. <laughs> Which is, I'm, I'm gonna write my, finish writing all my lore for my character. Now that I have a character, thanks to Chu, I don't look a day over 299. Well, gee, thank you, too. I think you captured my age perfectly. I think it's on... Uh... <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's beautiful art. I gave it to Zathy, and she's using that to make my panels. Uh, that's part of her reference material that I sent her. Yes. Okay, we just failed 
that because I was talking. <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's all good. We got whip smack, so we're, we're more than good there. And now I have to suffer animation, don't I? Oh, no. I was quiet because I didn't know if I'd get spinning cane. I did. The other day, I couldn't get spinning cane to save me. <laughs> like, literally save me in a boss fight. Also, I love designing your character, and I can't wait to see what comes from it in terms of branding. Thank you. Well, Chu, I'm... The job you did was well above what I was expecting. And most of uh, the artwork that you're going to see appearing on here will be responsible from that. That one piece of art is leading to most of the branding here. So you'll get to see how well it gets used. I think Zathy's going to do an amazing job on the panels. I'm very excited to see. I, I mean, I've seen some of it. She's sending me drafts, and they already look amazing. <laughs> Again, with the community, I have so many interesting people in my life. And I'm really glad that I was introduced to Zathy because she's, she's amazing. I love her. Her channel is a lot of fun. I would like it if I was more fr family friendly like she is. I don't think I have quite the zip she has. <laughs> Uh, making me excited to also explore the world of VTubing more. And making me want to do more for my model. You should, Sue. I didn't know you didn't have any. I mean, I guess, you know, not all VTubers go the route of doing the lore. But I, I love that about VTubing, that people... It's not just you that you're representing, it's also a backstory. And a lot of people like to incorporate their real life persona into the storyline so you can learn a lot by reading someone's backstory yes and I saw you live stream uh, what was that Halloween it was either Halloween or the day after you were playing something with one of your friends and I was like oh, she looks like her model <laughs> Your model is so... I, I love your model. I laugh because of the little, like, I think it's your angry face. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I think it was when you were on House of Ashes. You didn't have your avatar on. But yes, your model is very... It represents you very well. I'm stuck again. Wait, I thought I went this way. Lost counter. I think I, I have a lost counter. I'm going to have to add that permanently to the stream. Thank you. There we go. There's Flame, the unofficial lost counter. <laughs> Official now at this point, I think. Oh, no. I love, I love your model. I can't wait until I can get Cat to do mine so that I actually have a decent working model oh. <clears throat> and once I fix up my computer and get the full the tracking right then you guys will be able to see me moving and stuff on stream wait this is the right way it has to be I can only go this way sorry I'm interrupting myself I can't figure out where I'm going Uh, because we rescued the goofy merchant was over here, right? I'm missing a jump. I know that's just simple. I'm, I'm missing one thing. Up the lava river? Hmm. This is as good as hint as any. I have to go and check. Well, I was, I was looking. I thought there were stones. Maybe we just can't go back. Oh, that's going to defeat the purpose of this. Oh, look, I'm actually doing spinning cane today. 
That's unusual for me. Now if I can get, yes, get Volcano off without being countered. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Chu, while you're still here, thank you again for all those subs. I was kind of having a, a, a overwhelming... Well, I was, I was basically having kind of a panic attack. <laughs> so, I don't think I thanked you. So appreciated. Uh, that's so many people. I didn't even see who all got them, but that's so many people who don't have to look at commercials anymore. And they get my... Well, they're, they're not the greatest emotes, but they get access to my emotes. Oh, I have some friends in there. I have close friends in there that got it. Crucial Twins and Tuffy's Fluffy got one. Sonic Squids. Some of them are uh, followers that came in on previous streams for games that I'm not sure if I played in a long time. But I know, I know Crucial Twins and Tuffy Fluffy. I wanted to help in my goblin way. <laughs> yeah, it was... It's okay, Fruity. It was a good... I, I don't know if there's such a thing as a good panic attack, but it was a, a overwhelming amount of emotion. <laughs> it was good emotions. It just overwhelmed me a bit. And she was... Chu Chu helped me because she was like, breathe. <laughs> I had to breathe. And I think that's really honestly what happened. I, I just had no oxygen left. Okay, flame's right. I should have known. It's the immortal flame would know how to get through lava. It was up. I wasn't hitting up. Good. I was afraid we couldn't go back. Because I think it was Senvi's in chat told me at some point we can't go back here. Uh, I'll have to remember that if I do this sort of thing again. <laughs> Flame, oh my gosh. Well, you know, I know you're per you're, you're on your own mission. Which I, I wish you well, friend, on your mission. Yeah, you're, you'll probably get all kinds of reactions. Some will probably be uh, overwhelming amounts of crying, and joy, panic attacks. <laughs> it's amazing what happens to people when you do something that they're completely not prepared for. <laughs> oh. And I'm not just saying this. I would love it if I had the ability to do that every day. Oh. That would be a dream for me. I would love to just go to random channels and just drop money all day. That would be a great hobby. I know there's some YouTubers, uh, Twitch streamers, who actually make a living off of that. Okay, I just went backwards again. Need to pay attention. I actually thought I was in the right spot, but I wasn't. There's another stone I missed. Isn't there? No, we're going to get aggroed again. Okay. Okay, I'm not lost. Wasn't a lost counter. I was just checking. Yeah, but I know that there's a lot of streamers who make their career off of that, and I think that's amazing. As long as they're doing it sincerely, and they, they actually are rewarding those people. Uh, was it down or out? Out? We want to go out of the cave. Does this let me go to the map? I think this is it. Doesn't this go up and out of the map? I should probably play Dragoon more in the week so I don't get lost where I'm at. More fire mobs. Ooh, random fire creatures. Oh, well, I messed that up. It's okay, she's doing 72 damage without a combo. Yes! 
What is it with the salamanders? They just counter. I'm not sure how the little guy could counter me, but... Oh, I just thought. It's a good thing I... I Cat left. She'd have probably been upset. I just downed a salamander. It wasn't a tiger salamander, so it's okay. <laughs> it was on fire. <laughs> oh, no. This is an item. Huh, we missed a panic guard last time we were through here. So that was a good loss. Hi, Zath. How are you doing this fine day? I know you're busy because you, you sent me some really pretty drafts. Which I appreciated, by the way. The artwork is coming along very nice. I love that I know so many awesome artists because I'm not good at it. I don't know why. I can put together a computer. I can rebuild a clock. I can build all kinds of contraptions and work on mechanical things, but when it comes to art, I just draw a blank. Yeah, these salamanders must like auto counter, because every time we attack them, with dart anyway. Controller. I didn't mean to run away from that fight. My controller is being weird. I think it desynced. Thank you, Chu. Enjoy your lurk. Have have a good day, and I wish you well in your endeavors. Did I go the wrong way while I was not paying attention? <laughs> no, I didn't. No, it, we're still in the volcano. We'll get out. Uh, are you done for now? You're taking a break? That's good. Oh, I, I might have to take an early break. <laughs> okay, this time don't run. Yeah, it was at my controller desynced because it's fine now. I don't know if I was holding it wrong or if the battery's low. I thought I charged it. It's okay, I have other PS4 controllers. One thing I like about the Vita TV is it syncs seamlessly with PS4 controllers, so I can use any one of my four controllers for this. Oh, poor Lavitz got knocked out. Oh, he's stunned. Okay, that's a stun. Oh, you're already completely done? My goodness. Well, I'll, after the stream, now I'm excited. I'm even more excited. I can't wait until after the stream, I'll look at it. Shauna leveled. That's good, because she's behind. Shauna was ill in the last episode, so we had to find... Well, we were out trying to find medicine, but we ended up finding the White Dragoon Spirit, which cured her. Instantly end stream. Yes, <laughs> just... Hey, guys, thanks for coming. Uh, I had a panic attack. I'm gone. Bye. Just close. <laughs> that makes me think of uh, Lasana. She actually has, I think it's a 100,000 point reward redemption for ending the stream. It was like, oh my. <laughs> Has anyone ever redeemed it? I'm curious. I meant to ask her that the other day. Like, has anyone ever been able to redeem and stream? And have you done it? <laughs> I mean, I guess if they had 100,000 points to spend. <laughs> oh. It's kind of a comical end to the stream. I mean, you're just like... 
Rewards redeemed. Okay, bye guys. I have the rest of the day off. Oh, I almost had it. Ask Morgan. <laughs> Hello, Morgan. Oh, that's right. You, I saw you donate, I think, gears to the community. For a community event. Where is that, by the way? Where's that sitting at? <gasps> 63%. Oh, you guys are really good. Thank you, Flame, for cleaning up the gears. I like them nice and shiny. Oh, yeah, you're still at work. Oh, I, I appreciate the lurking. And you have enough on Lasana's jet. That doesn't shock me. You're in there, and you're her mod, and you're in there a lot. <laughs> 100,000, though. Congratulations. That's a lot of reward points to have stockpiled. <gasps> Magic. Blossom Storm. Is that his area? I thought I had. I thought I had an area of effect. I need to... Oh, I can't see it outside the Dragoon form. Or can I? Or can I? I might be able to. I could have swore you could look at the magic. No, you can't. I can't hit X here. Wing Blaster, Blossom Storm. That has to be the area of effect because Death Dimensions, AoE. Explosion is AoE. I think this game follows that pattern through the whole thing. I'd have that much in Zathy's stream if I didn't keep making her out. Ah. Although, I'll thank you for saying hydrate in your sentence because I had forgot to drink myself for the while and my mouth is completely a cotton ball at this point. Hello, Praxium. Good morning. Well, good afternoon now. I hope your day is going well. Welcome to the stream. We're doing Dragoon today. Oh, Morgan, the question is, are you actually going to redeem it on a live stream? <laughs> or is it just being pocketed for an emergency? I mean, I would hope there's never an emergency to use it. All I know is the first time I saw it in her rewards, I was like, how? Why? Why? <laughs> I mean, I thought it was funny. But I had figured it was there for the LOLs, but didn't know. We're almost out of this blasted place. Oh, thank you. I was getting really tired of looking at fire, but now we got to go through a swamp. Wow, this is hard to get back to this bird. It's just long. I'll reissue that because I don't even remember if I said that at the beginning of stream, but that was the mission. Last stream we ended, we realized we needed lots of funding and one of the chatters, Senbees, had informed me that there's a special creature that we can go and farm to get money. So that was kind of the goal today. That's why these random battles aren't too bad because I have to stockpile a bunch of money for a special, I think it's a shield. It's a ring or a shield. It has all damage taken, so it's really good for your tank. All damage. Even magic damage and boss damage. Oh, okay. This is, this is good. At least I'm getting Spinning Cane down, because the next one's really hard. And I was concerned, because I couldn't even get Spinning Cane off. And poor Rose, she's stuck with Whip Smack. <laughs> as fun as it is to hear her say it. We don't have another one yet. I actually can't remember where the next uh, part of that is. Does she have to do something to unlock her addition? 
Or maybe we got it and we weren't paying attention. Nope, she just doesn't have one. Huh, that's interesting, it's capped. I know Shauna doesn't have them. Yep, she doesn't have additions. Because she uses a bow. Which, it's sad, because I would have liked to have tried additions with a bow. Oh, Volcano's done. Oh, you guys really want to see me fail? <laughs> oh. That's punishment. But we're just grinding, so maybe I'll be alright. If we go to a boss fight, we might have to switch that back out. Uh, straight up is Volcano Town of Hearts. Yeah, we want to go back to the fort, so we're going this way. Shauna edition reigning heaven. Wait, does she have an edition later? If she does, it's something hidden that I probably never got. It wouldn't shock me. Whoa, that sounded like boss music. No, that's just this area's uh, music. Never mind. I was going to say, if that's a boss. Oops, messed that up. Oh, okay, good. We can one-hit things here, though. No, but I thought it would be a cool one. It sounds like something she'd use. It sounds like her magic, actually. Because I'm, I, she doesn't get additions, but I know she gets magic. In Dragoon form. Hey, a rabbit. Come here. Oh, wait, we can't go up to the rabbit. Can I? Okay, not that rabbit. Not yet. What is this? It, let me come out here for no reason. I thought there was stardust. I'm just checking. I don't remember being able to go up on the trees. Yeah, Zath, you'll have to... Uh, you have to watch the VOD. Flame was on a call with me earlier <laughs> on stream where he, he almost made me completely lose all of my oxygen <laughs> from his generous donation to the community. Oh, I'm still trying to get over it, actually. <laughs> I actually got that and I wasn't even paying attention. I told you guys, if I think about it, I can't do it. I just got Burning Rush off. It's so fast. Yeah, you'll get to hear Flame. He, an amazing human being. The immortal Flame. Oh man, this just led me right here. Did I just get lost? I need to get out of this place. As long as we come out... Yeah, here. We're fine. Okay. So, again, Senvi's... I'm pretty sure it was Senvi's? I just... Or it might have been Jacqueline. There's two of them that have been giving me lots of hints in stream. They said we have to go back to this town to get the Stardust because... Uh, as we progress through the chapter, we'll be cut off from this side of the map. Come on, give me dart. I want to see if I can do Burning Rush again. Probably not, since I'm thinking about it. Nope. See, I think about it too hard, then I can't do it. It was Senvi's last stream. Thank you, Fight. I, th I thought it was Senvi's. Because I remember he was like, oh, I don't want to give away everything. And I was like, no, it's okay. It's a backseat stream. I, I don't mind. I actually forgot to put it in the tags. I just realized that. But it is. It's a The Ledger Dragoons, I'm letting everybody to kind of decide where we go.
Sadly, I don't think they're here today, so I don't know. Hmm. We'll have to find it ourselves. Yes, I, th I thought this were the two towns. Plus, the towns weren't explored that well, so it makes sense. I actually thought there was going to be Stardust right there, and it was just a description. Well, we'll look for the Stardust, and then we'll go try to find that special bird. He pushed himself for a silly reason, like wanting to show the house to a baby that wasn't even born. What a fool. I don't know. <gasps> it, it was this fire. We found one in the fire, if I remember correctly. Now, where would the other one be? Pretty sure it was that fire. Yay for backseating. Yeah, uh, I don't mind it, as long as nobody gets too forceful about where I'm you know, like spamming it in the chat. I, I welcome it. Most of these games are 20 years old. I haven't played them in 10 years. I welcome the support from viewers because a lot of it's just lost to memory. I, I know the general beginning and ending of the games, just like you do a book, but a lot of the stuff that happens in between is lost. Okay, so this, I can't go back up there. Ooh, I hope it wasn't over there. There might be another way up there. The dust is probably in here. I know nothing, but I am here. Nothing about the game. Yeah. It's a really good game. There's a lot that goes on in it. and It was supposed to be the Final Fantasy killer. I don't think it ever achieved that. But Stay a night? Oh, we might as well. It's 10 gold. We can full hill. If sleep was only that easy that I could pay $10, $10 and get a full night's rest and be fully recovered, I'd do it every night. Please, take my $70 so that this week I can sleep. <laughs> Not in the desk. You guys might be able to hear me, but I'm, I'm clicking. I'm trying to figure out if there's stardust. Uh-oh. It looks nice to sleep on. Ah. I really thought that that was going to be stardust. Nope. Nah, okay. We've tried it now several times. There's nothing there. Dart's just fascinated by the beds that they look great to sleep on. They do, though. They look comfy. Poor guy. Are you okay, mister? Did you survive? I got injured during the defense of Hux, and now I'm focusing on healing my body. Actually, I want to fight. Uh, just hill. <laughs> you did enough, soldier. I gotta get better as soon as possible. Ouch. Okay, that's the same. No stardust here. No! I already slept. I don't need it to sleep in. Hmm. No stardust there. Yeah, we're looking for something, Zath, called stardust. And... It leads to a special boss fight if we can get all of them before a certain point in the game. And I've missed two, I believe. Right? Was it two? They said 14, if I remember right. I have 12. I can borrow some of your stardust. If it helps me to get to the boss, I would gladly borrow it. Because <laughs> I... I'm lost looking for it. <laughs> Your Stardust might be too powerful for this game. It might blow up my Vita. It's too strong. It's too pure. Where is... 
Hey, Flame. I, I hope you're watching this because I have a feeling this is going to be Stardust. What is this? Is this like a nook that I found it in or was it in that shelf? Oh, that, I clicked again and it told me where it was. It is a box to stow, to store the swords. There's only a sword with a nicked edge in it. Ha. Huh. <clears throat> so the stardust was found in a small box with one broken sword. Hmm. Yep, interesting. Well, I think that was the only stardust we needed here. Now I gotta go back to the other time. Time to get to work. For those of you who are maybe new to the stream or new to this game, Flame loves to write poems about the Stardust, and they're great. Oh, I doubt Flame's going anywhere. He's probably just working on a poem. <laughs> He's probably just minorly AFK. Oh, yeah. Uh, here, while this battle goes... I am, I've wrote a few, nothing I'm really proud of. Here's Zeth, I'll get you a, just one of them. Oh, this is one of my favorites. He, we found Stardust uh, below a forge in a blacksmith shop. Oh, let me put little quotations, because this is not me saying this. That is Flame's poem that I just posted for you guys in chat. That was one of the more... Uh, I really appreciated this poem, because we had just found it under a forge in a crafter's shop. I was very envious of that crafter's workshop. I would like to have one like that. One day I will build a real forge here. Uh, the bat's hit for two damage. <laughs> Definitely back at the starting zone. Burning rush! I got it off. I didn't. I didn't think I would. It's it's a really fast move. It comes up on the screen quickly and chains together quick. Back up to this town. I'm very happy that we found the one in the hoax because I was afraid it was hidden in part of the structures that were torn down during the battle. <gasps> the bird! The bird, the bird, the bird, the bird, the bird. That is the bird, isn't it? Yellow bird. It's not the rainbow. Eliminates a minor enemy. I was saving this for the rainbow. But this one's reusable. I bet you we could hit him once, twice, use the stone, and hit him another two or three times, because he can't run. One, one point. He's got five health, but he runs away. Oh. I was hoping, because he's got five hit points, and that stone only blocks three turns. I guess I should have just used the total vanishing, but I'm trying to save it for the rainbow. Because I have a feeling the rainbow bird's going to run the second that we go after it. Hello, Lasana. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I was going to say good morning, and then I looked, and I'm like, nope, we're just a minute or two from PM, so it's good afternoon, at least for me. You're a bit late. No, you're not late. Late's if you schedule to go somewhere. 
Or you could just be, you know, like Gandalf and say, I'm, I'm never late nor early. I arrive precisely when I mean to. Which actually sounds like something a Wilsana would say. <gasps> burning Rush! We got Burning Rush off! He's gonna run. He, it didn't run. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna use this. This is the animal we were looking for. I don't think he can run now. I just don't know if we'll be able to do enough damage to him before he tries to run. Controller, please. Doesn't matter if I get combos off. We, we can only do one damage. He used it twice. He tried to run. I missed! Oh, rip. I think I'm not gonna get it. Oh, we did! Oh, a big shout out to Senvis for telling me about that stone. It does give 300 gold every time you kill it. Oh, I hope it keeps spawning. Uh, again, for those of you who don't know, this game is incredibly hard to farm gold. <laughs> they do not give you anything in a fight. So 300's really big. I just made your gear into a spinning gif? Oh, that's so exciting. I was inspired. Well, that that's art. Art all kind of goes together. So, were you inspired by the poem? Oh, here it is. I'm sorry, Flame. I was I got carried away finding the stupid bird, and I missed your poem. I'm going back though. Uh, as a matter of fact, in case anyone else missed it, can I? I've never tried to pin something that large. I think it'll work. I'd probably have to increase the text box. But this is what we're focused on at the moment, because I want to read that. Mm. The air is still after the eve of battle. The cool morning air hints the nose with the smell of iron and steel. The relief and regret of those that return to fight another day. Return to the smith, a blade lay broken and weary, but within its core bleeds stardust, given to the world by the will of the smith and the warrior. Beautiful. I don't know, Lasana, if you'd came in, but I was explaining, uh, Flame writes a poem every time we find Stardust. I really like that. I'm putting that in my... I, I've been keeping most of them. I think I missed one. I'll definitely keep that one, though. If that's what inspired you, I can see why. But yes, art inspires. Kind of goes hand in hand. I find uh, poetry does that to me as well. Uh, I'm not very artistically inclined, but when I read poetry, I'm inspired to do things afterwards. It's kind of enlightening. I guess that's why we write poems. It does sound like something I'd say. I'll say that. I'm just precisely on time. Yes. <laughs> Next time you're late for something, Lasana. It's from Lord of the Rings. It's uh, Gandalf says it. I use it in real life, though, all the time, even if somebody has no idea where it came from. But he says, uh, a wizard is never late. He's never late or early. He arrives precisely when he means to. And as I finish kind of the lore for my character, that's kind of uh, what I picture my avatar. Because that's how I am in real life. I would say something like that. <laughs> and it's probably true, actually, because I normally arrive precisely when I want to. I, I'm very rarely am I early. Very rarely am I late. I tend to plan things within about one to two minutes or 
Well, it depends on how big the event is. But I always arrive to work early. Slightly. Just so that I can walk in the door at exactly the time I'm supposed to. Now, finding the dust that we missed in this town is going to be a chore. I know we found one in the river. I just don't remember where the other one is. Was it back behind there? I see another ladder back there. I'm going to go check. Nope, don't want to go there. Wait, we'll check all these drawers. They tend to hide them in things that you don't think you can interact with. No. I guess people sit here to be painted. Yeah, I would too. Uh, not what I was hoping for. Not in the bed, not on the desk, not on the table. And if anyone does know where the Stardust is, you're more than welcome to say. You're not spoiling it for me. Just helping me. You think th I think there was a Stardust back here when we started. I think that was the first one we found in town. This town's all the way from the beginning of the game, so... We haven't been here in a while. You know, got embroiled in a war with a dragon. Had to go find our Dragoon powers. This forge doesn't have one? No? Nope. It's okay. While we're here, we can also get some potions and items that we were missing. This is a uh, inn, I think. Or a bar. Yeah, this is the bar. I don't believe we ever found a Stardust in here, so this is a good place to check. I love the music in this game. At least that's one good thing when you're running around hunting things. The music's very entertaining. I didn't need to stay, did I? Oh well. It's only 10 gold. We just made 300 off that bird. Now, the rainbow bird supposedly drops, I think it's like 3,000 gold and a good item. That's what we're saving the total vanishing item for. Quit drinking, sober, yay. Good for you. I'm glad you quit drinking. Actually, I will make a save. I don't. I can't remember where the last. We haven't saved for a little while. Yeah, the volcano and then Shirley's temple were the last two places. Anything in here? Nope. No nightstands. No beds. The desk doesn't have it. So I don't believe it's in the bar. I suppose I could Google look it up. That, I, I feel like it's cheating when I look it up, but not when, when a viewer tells me where it's at. That makes no sense, but that's how I see it. Yeah, we, we slayed the dragon. We have its dragoon power. He quit drinking now, so it hits harder during. Uh. I suppose there's that reason for quitting too. This ladder. Oh, okay. So I remember where one of the stardust was. Uh, it was in the blacksmith store. But he said we missed one here. So we found the one that was off the side of the river. We found it in the blacksmith store, but Senvis had said there was another one here. He, I just don't remember where he said it was. Earth-based attack for all. Ooh, I want one of those. I like to keep one of the all attacks on me, at least one of them, because the boss fights, you have to wipe out traps and stuff. Those are useful for that.
try the well outside of Lavit's house and the fireplace inside Lavit. Well, Lavit's place is over here. Bad Bobby, thank you for following. Uh, heck yeah. Look, uh, Legend of Dragoon, one of the best JRPGs of all time. I can agree. This is one of my favorite games. I absolutely adore this game. I love the music. This music is my favorite. <laughs> we were discussing at the beginning of the stream how this could put you to sleep. And indeed, when I was a child, I slept to this. <laughs> I'm watching a... Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. I, I hope it will be of entertainment while you're having fun. We've been trying to play it about twice a week. Um, Mondays, Monday AM and Wednesdays AM. It's a little bit of an unofficial storyline for the stream. Our main story that we follow is Front Mission 3. If you like those kinds of, if, you know, PS1 classics. You own the official soundtrack, official art books. Oh, wow, another super fan of the, of the game. I don't have any of those, I don't think. The soundtrack, yes. I don't have any of the art books. I heard there was a device that they sold in Japan for the game that allowed extra storage. I'm a little envious of that. Nothing in the barn. I like the wonderful music. The chain system, the combo system, is very fun. It's very entertaining. I think more RPGs would have benefited from having a similar system. The fireplace. Am I clicking it? Did we get this one already? We're currently looking for all the stardust in Bale. We actually, I thought I'd gotten all the stardust, but we made it like really far past here and went after the dragon. And Senvi, one of our chatters, told me I missed one and I was like, no, I have to go back before the game cuts me off. Is it in this room full of junk? Maybe. No. The one in the kitchen. Thank you, Flame. I'll go look. Oh, you beat it 120% with all 50 Stardust. That's amazing. So you beat the uh, the boss that you get for the Stardust. That's what we're trying to do. I would like to stream that. That would be very fun. I think. I mean, it's probably going to be a frustrating fight, but very nice. Thank you for stopping by, Zath. Much appreciated. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And thank you for all the work you're doing on the art. I look forward, as soon as the stream ends, that's the first thing I'm going to do, is go and get that zip file and open it. The boss, in your humble opinion, was a pushover? I may not be so skilled. So, I'm, I'm going to try the boss? I don't know. Might be a bit trying for me. Is it this one, Flame? I don't think so. I'm clicking X here. Maybe I didn't hit it right. No, it's this stylish dinnerware. Try the music room in the castle. Oh, I don't think we went there. That sounds good. It's as good as any gas flame. Everybody was max level. And all the additions were maxed out. Oh, wow. You just really had a good time with this game then. 
The additions are pretty hard to max out until you get the ring, which is kind of why we need money. I can get one of the addition rings. Although I have a lot of fun just doing them manually. And nothing here, Flame. Yeah, I'm going to go to the castle. If I don't get lost. <laughs> oh yeah, it's this way, right? Up past Lavit's house. Oh, that's the lady to put the Stardust to. Okay, wrong spot. Wrong... Wait. That'd be hilarious if there was Stardust here. Because this is where you turn it in. <laughs> 250 hours in the game. That's a lot of hours to put into a game. I've done it, though. Uh, I did that with Morrowind. I don't even know how many hours I put in Morrowind. Oh, when Twitch was still called Justin TV. That was a very long time ago. I still remember those days, though. I was not streaming at the time. I did watch some here. I don't even think I have my original account anymore. I made this one. Oh, gee. This one's fairly new. That's not going to be the castle. The castle's all the way at the back. Skyrim. Yeah, Praxian. There's another one you can sink 200 hours into easy. Oh, you're not old. I mean, I'm not old either. I'm only 300. For Dark Elves, that's pretty light. I'm still considered quite young. There are days that my body doesn't feel quite up to the task, though. Oh, look, an item we missed. Wasn't anything great, but we'll take it. The music room. That's upstairs somewhere. Oh, Praxian, don't say that. That does make you feel a little old. <laughs> Skyrim turns 10. Oh, boy. It's a whole decade old. Uh, all right. 31 years old. Hmm. Where is the music room? That's not a chest. Thank you, Nam, for the hydrate. I need that. I keep forgetting. This game does that to me because I'm really intent on trying to find this stardust. That's a bedroom. I don't think that's a music room. I don't see instruments. The music room is upstairs, like near where the king is, isn't it? Please, out of my way. Music's good in this town, too. It's not my favorite town music, though. We haven't gotten there yet. But I think that's, like, way late. Oh, is this the music room? Let me look around in here without clicking on her. Yeah, because she says she's writing a song to honor you. Please let me sing to you. Serdo, okay. It's a strange-looking instrument, though, right? Not what we were hoping for. Oh no, she like blocked me in, didn't she? I'm always nervous around randomly walking NPCs.
Oops. Ah, uh, that's not the music. The music room's this room. A around here. I remember being in here, but why is there a cupboard in such a place? I have no idea, Dark. Good, I good answer. I don't know. It's not what we're looking for. Right. Well, the Stardust is not in this room. Or if it was, I missed it. I clicked on most of the inanimate stuff. And the Castle Forge. Yeah, we're still missing one, though. I think 14. I got 13. Do, 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 do. Oh gosh, yeah, this game was fairly long. I remember it's four discs. Thankfully, don't have to deal with discs. Uh, since you're uh, Bad Bobby, you're new to our channel. We're actually playing this game on the Vita TV. So thankfully, I won't have to load discs. I think you still make a save before you, the disc changes, but it'll do it for me. I'm looking like at places that it could be. Do, 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 do. Making sure I didn't miss anything in chat. Forges downstairs. A charger. It's the aardvarks that they ride. I, I still think they look like aardvarks. Or weird combination of horse aardvark. <gasps> there you go, flame. We found it. Thank you. At the at the very edge of this massive castle forge, we found a stardust. That is a really, really big forge too. I can only, the heat that that thing's generating. <laughs> that guy probably would not not want to be standing here like that. Smithing imbues your heart into what you make. Our wish for victory makes the arms stronger and our wish for life makes the armor harder. Well, he's a true smith after my own heart. He's crafting many fine weapons. I think this is like an alchemy lab. Okay. I've been going, I didn't even, I got carried away. I tend to like to take breaks about once every hour or so. Unless chat demands that I do. But I'm gonna get up and walk around and refill my coffee. Yes, thank you Bad Bobby for the hydrate. I was gonna do that too, refill my water. I'm gonna get some more coffee and walk around for a little bit. I highly recommend that any of you who've been sitting still for the last hour, whether you just came from another stream or otherwise playing games, get up and walk around, stretch, get some drinks, snacks. I'm gonna go a little longer today because I mean, all we did was look for Stardust. I'd at least like to try to find the rainbow bird. So we'll be back in just a couple minutes.
I am back. Sorry it took a little long. I was, I grabbed a few cookies <laughs> while I was over getting my coffee. I didn't want to like be crunching on stream. I did see that Flame posted the poem. I need to see it. <clears throat> the forge bellows with a force met with the determination of the smith. The heat, a challenge for the crafter, and the steel, a challenge for the forge. The two in sync with their motions. Flames grow higher as the smith slams his hammer with ferocity and conviction. The hot flakes of metal splashing along, away along with the stardust that accompanied it, accompanied it. A reward from the trials of both forge and smith. Beautiful flame. Bravo. I love that. Good one, Nem. A word smith. The poem is about a smith in a forge. And flame is a word smith. <laughs> the forge of writing is, is a tedious endeavor. The fact that he writes these poems like within a few minutes of me finding the stardust is insane. Okay, Flame. Have a good break. I'd say you need one too, friend. <laughs> Been on my stream for a while. If you didn't take one while I was gone, probably not. You were writing that poem. Okay, I saved the poem. I saved those, by the way, guys, in case you were wondering what I was doing. They're very beautiful. I do have a soft spot for art, uh, poems in particular. Where did I put the controller? Oh, it's right here. I have like two or three PS4 controllers. This one and one other sync to the PS4, or the Vita. So we did get our Stardust. And the person I need to turn them into is here, so that's great. Because I think you get a reward. I think. <laughs> Nem, I hope your day is going well. I didn't, I don't think I missed you chatting. I'd seen you uh, do the reward turn in. I figured you were having a lurk today. I don't like to bother anyone when they're lurking. I don't even know at that point if they have their, if they're muted or they're just in the background doing things. Cause I know how that goes. I do the same thing. I like to go to streams and I'm getting other things done while I have the volume on. Just listening, chilling which there's nothing wrong with. <laughs> making dinner. Okay, so I'm kind I'm kind of with you on making the dinner. What are you having? Anything special this evening? I'm guessing it's evening. I think you had said you were overseas, so I'm pretty sure it would be yeah, it'd be past five o'clock for you. I haven't made lunch yet. I will do. Very soon. I think I'm gonna have ramen noodles after the conversation last night in Front Mission. <laughs> we were in a bar in Front Mission 3 it was like a oriental place and they were cooking noodles and I'm like every time in every video game if I go to a kitchen and they're making ramen then I get hungry for it Fallout 4 is infamous for this meat stew with the colder air stew is finely viable I don't know why I don't like to eat it in the summer just because it's hot Okay, here we go. This is the person I turned the stardust into. What do they say? Martle. It's hard to find stardust, isn't it? I guess you knew it, though. How about you? We gave away eight stardust, because we had already given her the first half. 
The game just keeps track of your total. Thanks. Thanks a million. In return, take this. It's the rare thing I promised you. <gasps> Ooh, a physical ring. Thanks in advance for the next time. Ooh, ooh. Armed. Items are... It's funny that they let me carry around so many items because they're hard to find. Ooh. It raises your maximum hit points by 50%. Dart's kind of our tank, so this wouldn't be bad for him. We're definitely keeping it. We won't sell it. That's going to have a use. How much does it raise his hit points? And what do we... I have the War God's amulet. Wow. <laughs> 744 total hit points, but we lose our attack. So maybe not while we're farming. I think while we're looking for the rainbow bird, we're just going to keep the attack rate on so we don't keep missing. I should probably give one of those to... I think I have another one we could give to Rose because she misses all the time. I love the sapphire pen, but it just recharges our mana when we get attacked. Or maybe we don't have another War God amulet. Oops. Come on, I thought I had one more. Nope. All I have is defense, attack up. The power wrist is good. I don't think that's going to help us though. The bird only takes one damage. That we're looking for? I think the the chatters had told me it was Jacqueline and Senvis had told me that the rainbow bird's outside of town. Which is also good. I should probably save after turning in that stardust. So Senvis, a shout out to you, friend. If you're watching this later in the future, you helped us immensely. Because we, we knew we had to get 14, and we did it. Yeah, see, our previous save was only 12, so we got 14 coming. Yay! We're right on track then. So when we move the storyline, this area will become locked off to us. But we don't have to worry about it. I would like to find this bird, though, before we leave. It was fairly common here at the beginning of the game. I kept being attacked by it, actually. And it would run away. As soon as you'd hit it, it would just run. Whip smack. 149 on these basic creatures. Those guys gave me such a hard time before. Yeah, look, nine gold. That's all you get from normal fights, like nine, 10, 12. The bird gives 300. Supposedly the rainbow bird gives more. Watch, I'm over here looking for the rainbow bird and this isn't the area. I thought it was though. Cause swore that's what attacked me when I first came out of the cave. Two bats. Don't really need to do the combos, but we get uh, SP. And that carries over on your Dragoon form and gives you Dragoon levels. And our Dragoon levels are a bit low. So if nothing else, we're getting Dragoon level points. If we do end up doing a boss fight soon, though, I can transform all of them with the special ability because they're all maxed out with their uh, their Dragoon meter. So we'll do a little farming. I don't want to bore anyone, but I'm trying to find this bird. 
I kind of wanted to dedicate today's episode towards building up some cash, uh, finding the stardust, and seeing if we can't find that item from the bird. Oh, I got it. I didn't think I got that. I did. You know, I don't think Burning Rush is very good. I know it's hard. It's a harder move to pull off, but I think even at cap, it doesn't do as much damage as Volcano. Get it? Get it? Yes! I actually did that one well. That one worked very well. Ah, Nem redeemed. Be nice, Tensera. I wasn't talking bad about myself, I don't think. <laughs> it's okay. It's also for just general redemption. Let me see. What can I say nice about myself? Always sit and listen to the battle music. Actually, you know what? I'm thanking Nem. I'm not stalling at all. Or am I? Uh, I want to just, I'll go to the menu music. That's my favorite. Let me think, what can I say good about myself? You guys are running me out of nice things to say. I'll have to just start making things up. Ah. Uh. Okay, I think I'm, generally speaking, I'm very nice to everybody I meet, including strangers. So whenever I meet someone, I try to be as nice as I can and complimentary to them. Because you never know what kind of day they're having. And so, like, even if you meet someone and they're not, like, in the best of moods, I feel like the best way to approach the person is with a kind heart. So I feel like I do that pretty frequently. Whenever I meet someone new, I, I don't understand what they're going through that day they could be having a rough day they could be having a great day but i feel i'm good at complimenting people even when maybe they don't need it or deserve it so did that work for you nim i i suppose it did with all the little bouncing hearts across the screen <laughs> i love the little uh, bouncing emotes they're so much fun I was really happy that you guys decided to keep that because I had that put up for the community and the community voted to keep it on my stream after the just chatting. Here, let's put up a whole bunch of the flair. <laughs> all the, all those emotes. Wee. <laughs> Lots of care. Zathy's working hard on all my new imagery, so I may have new emotes and panels soon. Which is nice, because my panels are basically just hand-drawn. As you can see, I'm like... My art's like that of a two-year-old. <laughs> That's about all I can do. I gave it a good shot, but I just don't have an artistic mind. But a couple of my friends have said it. You're never too old to learn, so maybe I should start teaching myself some art. Could always do it on stream for the lulls. <laughs> Everybody would probably love to see me draw and paint. Of course, I could get the paintbrush program to display for some reason, but I think that's because uh, the capture card is blocking it. I really do think that my capture card keeps the other program from coming up. Although it's weird because I can display other programs, it just won't do paint. Slash, kick, burning rush. Not the bird we're looking for though. A flyer, but not it.
Oh, uh... Because my one bot's not coming on the right way. I have the bot programmed to do these things, but it just doesn't always go off. I have to check to why. On the list of many things to do. But if anybody wants to keep up with my updates for the streams and what games are coming up or if I'm going to be delayed, probably the best place to do it is Twitter. We also have a Discord, but I know a lot of people with the Discords, they get annoyed by the pings. So the, the Twitch is, or the Twitter is the best way to keep up with me. But if anybody news in the chat today, we do have a Discord. We're playing a Thanksgiving event, actually, where I drop hints during the stream about my top 10 games. And I have the rules and information in the Discord. The reward is a pretty generous one. It's any game you want on Steam. And I'll be announcing those. Well, first, the submissions will be start next week. And I'll be taking submissions all the way up to Thanksgiving. And I'll announce the winner after Thanksgiving. I think that'll be really fun. I, I'm trying to figure out something special I can do for Thanksgiving. It's one of the best holidays. Any holiday that's central around food, especially good food. Welcome back, cat. I hope your meal was good. We were just talking about food. I, I love your Dawn High emote. Hi! Because it pretty much, that's like the picture that you show us of Dawn looking up at you. <laughs> oh, and I guess chat would be wondering, who is Dawn? And Dawn is uh, Spotted Gecko. That's her pet. Cat's pet is a gecko. A very pretty gecko. And her channel's emotes are of that. Leopard gecko, thank you. My, my brain pooed out there for a minute. And if you guys... Most of you who are here probably already have an avatar or you like watching avatars. Cat designs them. So if you guys want to ever see her work on avatar art. She also plays some games and just chatting, but lately she's been streaming her newest models. So you guys can head over there at some point and catch her. She's the cutest creature that exists. I love her smile. It is, it's one of the most precious things. That picture of her smile. She makes it good for emotes. <sighs> We're never going to find this bird, guys. I might just give up on it. I'll have to wait until Senvis is back in the chat to tell me where it's at. I think he might be in my Discord. I might DM him after a bit. It's just we've had no luck. We caught one, one yellow bird, but no rainbow birds whatsoever. And I'm starting to think I might be in the wrong way. How was my day, cat? Well, so far, it's been great. Uh, you know, having the wind knocked out of me at the very beginning of the stream. <laughs> two, two. Flame's overly generous donation <laughs> made it quite interesting. I think I've recovered from it. It's it, I have to process it after the stream. But no, my day's going wonderful. It's nice weather. It's not really that cold outside. <clears throat> Which is a nice break because it's been rather chilly the last few days. Been burning lots of oil, that's not good. That's a lot of money. A 
but we couldn't help it the other day. I didn't want the pipes to freeze, so. It was quite strange, November, and it was cold enough that the pipes in the basement could have froze. Out of my way, I'm looking for a bird. Speaking of which, I'm just looking at what's going on. I was looking at the Discord real quick too. See if anybody had posted anything there. But how's your day been, Cat? Because you've you're you're already halfway into your day. Mine's is just kind of beginning. We'll try a couple more fights, guys, to see if we get this bird. But we're kind of getting close to the end of the stream for the AM stream. You slept way too long? Nah, I highly doubt you slept way too long. You haven't been feeling well. You're probably not sleeping enough. At least we're getting lots of SP. That's good. I mean... I feel bad because I kind of wasted the, the game time today looking for this and grinding. I normally don't grind, and it wasn't the purpose, but... Sadly, the only way to find a rainbow bird, I would assume, is to keep doing random battles. And I'm pretty sure it's here. It's on the world map. Now that's boss music, I think. Okay, it's a yellow bird. I don't think that's the rainbow one, but that is the bird that drops money. Ow, it hurts. Now, can we get damage on it and then use the thing, or is it going to run away immediately? See, you can't do any more than one damage to it. And then it just tries to run away, and it only has five hit points. And I guess the rainbow bird is very similar. You streamed too long yesterday? Yeah, did you have... I think you were seven hours? <laughs> I had to go because I had to get to work early to unpack all the trucks, so I'm not really sure how long you ended up going for. Eight. Oh, you, you you actually did make it eight. That is a long stream. Oh no, she missed. You're better than me, cat. I haven't been able to get past. I think the longest stream we've had has been... I could go back and look, but I think it's been four hours. I need to get better at it, though, because one day I want to run a charity event, and I know a lot of those, you got to go, like, 24 hours. And I don't think we're going to get him. Because she keeps missing. Oh, we did! Oh, that magic stone thing, it works so well. It's not the rainbow bird, but this is 300 gold. Yep, every single time. I may have to do this off stream. <laughs> so I don't bore everybody with the grinding. Senseless grinding. And maybe make a save. No, I guess I can't save right before the battle. I don't know if I'll get the... The rainbow bird. If you need help with the charity st stream stuff, let me know. I used to do a lot of... Lasana, that's right. I believe you did mention you did those. Well, Lasana, thank you for the offer. Probably take you up on it, because I have no idea how to run one. I would love to. I just don't know how to do them. Like, I saw an option in OBS to sign up for one, but I was... Yeah, like, is there a requirement? How many people do I need? How do I pick the limits? Bye, bat. Welcome back, flame. 
We found one one more yellow bird flame, but we haven't found. I can't find this rainbow one. And I feel bad because all I'm doing is just random battles. We're not really getting storyline progress made. Not that this this game's not like Front Mission Three, where I'm I'm really focused on the storyline. This is more of my uh, open to back seating. You guys pick where I go, and we're just goofing off. Oh, look, another yellow bird. But yes, Lasana, back to the, the charity. Probably going to have to contact you at some point because I know Extra Life was going. I support that stream. I actually made a couple donations during it on the um, ARC. I don't know if you knew that, but ARC Survival Evolved uh, Wildcard. They do uh, the Children's Foundation and they do it like every year. And I love it because the more money they raise, the higher the farming rate is in the server. Yeah, it was amazing. They got up to like, the last time I checked, I think it was eight, eight or nine times the XP on the servers. It was so fun. When I went to go check my server to farm that day, it took me like 10 minutes to get everything I needed, which is saying something because it normally takes like an hour to fill the base. Uh, the rainbow bird gives 3,000 XP. No gold. Does he drop an item flame? Oh, I'll give up on him. I don't need 3,000 XP. I need gold. I was supposed to join the stand up to cancer event in August, but I forgot. Ah, I wasn't streaming at that point. But I would, I'd like to do that. I, would, I need to look up what events are coming up so I can figure out how to sign on to a charity. I'd have a lot of fun doing a charity, especially if it's one of the 24 hour streams. I just have to make sure that I'm off the next day and I can actually make it 24 hours. <clears throat> I haven't stayed up for 24 hours in a long time. Almost the other day with the trucks, I made 20 hours. <laughs> but it's a little different when you're like unloading a truck and backstocking and stuff. It's easier to stay awake. <laughs> Till you stop. I missed. He's gonna run, isn't he? Maybe? <gasps> he didn't run. Okay. Let's do this so he can't run. Because he gets red, he'll run. Now you can't run. <laughs> Lady Lynn, welcome back. Oh, no apologies. You gotta go, you gotta go. And it's for an interview. I don't know what you're interviewing for, but I hope it went well. Uh, you don't need an event for a charity stream, so there's a lot of creative freedom for managing it, too. Oh, that's good to know. Thank you, Lasana. Uh, start with 12 hours? Yeah, cat. that's... <laughs> Maybe that's a good idea. I don't shoot right for a 24-hour stream. Do like a 12-hour charity first to get used to it. 24 hours is a little hard on your mind and your body. Yes, I could agree to that. Uh, flame. It has a chance to drop a rainbow dress. Female only armor avoids poison stun and arm block. Maybe that's what Senvi's meant. You sell that. I wouldn't sell it. That sounds really cool. I'd like to have a rainbow dress. I'd like to have a rainbow dress in real life. I don't think I own one. Most of my outfits are very dark. <clears throat> also agree with Catelyn. I've done a two 24-hour streams so far, and they're fun, but also very tiring. I can only imagine. That's a lot of duress on the body. <laughs> Uh, what do they say? After 16 hours, you're basically drunk. Your your mind produces a chemical that basically induces you being uh, not sober anymore. <laughs> oh, they didn't show up, so I'm going to guess they went in a different direction. I could have stayed in my pajamas with everyone. Oh, 
I'm sorry, lady. My first stream ever was 24 hours. What, Lasada? You just like took up the streaming and decided to go. To <laughs> You're crazy. I would have liked to have seen it though. Do you still have like the VOD on YouTube? I'd go back and watch it. <gasps> I got it. Spinning. Here we go. There we go. Yours was 12 hours, cat? My very first stream, I think, was an hour and 20 minutes. And I didn't have a mic. And I was just talking to people in the chat. While I grinded on... I think it was Front Mission. No, I think it was actually... I was playing World of Warships was my first stream. It was like an hour and a half of World of Warships and I just chatted to people in the chat. I get lost so too easily. Yeah, I was just going to say, both of them are very hardcore. I do. It was such a mess. Is it So it's on YouTube, Lasana? Because now you've made me curious. If I knew you had YouTube, I would have subscribed. I didn't see it. Uh, maybe I just missed it. I probably just didn't look at your panels closely enough. You probably had a link in there and I didn't see it. Now you got me curious. That's what I'm going to do after stream. While I'm eating lunch. <laughs> I don't have much for my YouTube. I'm planning to move it all to a new one. Yeah. I have a YouTube, but it's a mess. Because it's a bunch of random stuff over the years. This so I might way. actually... <laughs> this is the way. I might have to actually move that to a different one. Thank you, Flame. I love that one. But I was thinking of making another channel. I might do another one. Not the bird we need. I'm just reading chat. Might as well just keep grinding. See if we get the rainbow bird. Oh, thank you, Flame, for the hydrate. I was actually just sitting here trying to figure out where I put my co coffee. Water's good, though. I need water. Uh, I tend to do long stream by accident. Getting lost in creating. Yes, cat, you do. <laughs> it's okay. We love you for it. It's fine. You do, you get carried away singing joyfully and doing your art, your avatar art. Oh, and we're here. We're talking about Lasana who does charity streams and I didn't do... She's also a streamer, guys, in case anybody in the chat didn't realize that. And she was last playing Akami, the doggy game. I, I sat in on that one for a little bit the other night before work. And then a little bit at work, but then I had to go. I was just lurking. I probably should have said hi, but I didn't have a lot of time the other day. I was in such a rush to get the trucks unpacked. We barely met that, like, the deadline to get everything put away. We'll just walk. We'll creep. <laughs> I forgot if you use the D-pad, your character just walks. But yes, Lasagna is a fellow VTuber. Her model is really good. I like her model. And she just recently updated it. I love your haircut, by the way. The That was a really good style. I like how your ears... It, it is... How do I say this? See, I'm not artistic. I can't even describe art. Or pretty things. But I like the way your ears look with the hair. It looks really good. Maybe we should make like a group on Twitch. So many VTubers. Yeah, I would love to be in a small VTuber group. I think Lasana's in one with Zathy. I think. Could be wrong about that. She can correct me. Am I wrong, Lasana? I thought you were in a... Oh, you're not in a group? Okay, I didn't know. It's Zathy who has a group. I think she's in a group with VTubers.
We're never going to find this rainbow bird. Ever. That's it. Yeah, thank you, Lasana. Yeah, Zathy is uh, Fae Life. Live. I knew someone that I watched was, had a, an actual group. I, I'm the same, Lasana. Just have a bunch of good friends on here and good peeps to hang out with. Which is not complaining. I prefer it. It's nice. I'd join a team eventually if one got formed. Oh yeah, Cat, of course. I know a good many VTubers or upcoming VTubers. I'm trying to convince Fruity. I don't know if he's lurking around in the chat. He might hear me. But I'm trying to convince him to do VTube. I keep telling him, I'm like, I know a lot of talented VTube artists who would gladly take your icon and turn it into a, a avatar. Which would be great. I think his streams are really good for that because he's he does a lot of the... They do, I'm sorry. They do a lot of the classic games like I do and retro games. So I think their channel would be would benefit greatly from them having an avatar on the screen. Thank you, Flame, for all those emotes. Look, it's all those great channels. Let's see. Fruity's Frog. Uh, Just Cat's Dawn Love emote. Lasana's Pout emote. Zathy's thumb up. Sleepy Fox's ooh, ooh. And and hit save Cyril's Pog. Sendies, welcome to the stream. Oh, I told I told Lasana this. You're not late. You can't be late if you didn't like schedule it. It's not like you you contacted me and said, Hey, I'll be at your stream at such a, and even then I don't I don't mind. You come and go as you please. You got real life. Things to do. So you're not late. You just tell people, I'm not late. I'm not early. I arrived precisely when I meant to. <laughs> uh, Lasana, honestly, VTubing is way kinder and more generous than camera streaming, in my opinion. I feel the smaller... Cam streamers are just really competitive or don't advertise themselves to each other as well or easily. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm not really sure how much difference there is. I mean, there's people who probably like to watch the real... Well, not that I'm not real, but the live feed because maybe they feel more connected to the person. But for me... I, I enjoy watching VTube. I associate with them more. And it's probably because I am a little bit of... I, I get very easily... High anxiety. And talking sometimes even to YouTubers who do their cameras. And especially if they like look at the camera. I feel like they're looking right at me. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh. And I get a little taken back. But it's probably just me. <laughs> as far as the community is concerned. Yeah, VTubers tend to... I think we tend to gravitate towards one another because we all have similar things that we're dealing with. We have like a built-in community without trying. <laughs> I don't have much experience in the live feed and I do get uh, the appeal. Just easier on to be on Twitter like, oh yeah, that's an avatar. They're a VTuber. Easier to out... Uh, ID outside of Twitch. Yes. Yeah, it does kind of make your channel like people are going to know as soon as they see the the cartoon character, anime character, fantasy character on the screen. Oh, yeah, it's a it's a VTuber. It's you know there was a wasn't that long ago people didn't even know what it was. They were confused by it, and now it's become uh, a lot more acceptable. If I'm real, then your avatars. After all, I'm just a program on a computer. 
Yes, you've, you've said that, Flame, that you could possibly be just a computer program. If you're a computer program with five keyboards running, you're probably the most advanced AI I've ever met. Indeed, yes. Well, the developers of your system, very intelligent. Had to be more than a couple people. <laughs> Just kidding. I've seen the pictures. I've seen proof. But he's an advanced AI. He could have generated those. For all you know, he's back in the background making NTFs. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say that. It was in my news feed earlier today, all the millions of dollars people pay <laughs> for the pictures. Not laughing. It's great. I mean, if you can make money on those things, I just don't 100% understand them. So it's probably just me. But yeah, I guess that's the new future of art is the signature arts and stuff that they sell now. Or is that my hardware? Yeah. You just have really good hardware that can digitally make that. Oh, you too, Cat. You're just as confused as I am. <laughs> good to know. I'm not alone. I mean, I get it. People pay good money for things that are rare. I've done it too, so I can't, I can't say anything. I've paid good money for things that were obscure and just rare. I think anybody has done that, especially if you have a hobby. If you've got a hobby, you've probably done it on more than one occasion and didn't even realize it. Gone and bought something and paid way more than you needed to. You can't run, bird. I need your gold. Burning Rush will get capped at this rate. I'm actually doing really well with that and I didn't think I would. I actually thought I'd have a heck of a time doing Burning Rush. Maybe it was just because when I was a kid that was too fast for me and I couldn't see it. I don't know. Of course we miss and that was like the last hit needed. Don't you run. Yay, more gold. Uh, Lasana. I don't get them either, but they appeal to making money from it. Seems good. Currency for it, though, is the dangerous part. Yeah, don't they They use the... I, I don't like to talk about the currency types and stuff, because that's, that's still kind of a personal choice for people, but... Yeah, I'm a little leery on that type of currency. I mean, eventually it'll probably be the future of money, but... I'm going to wait until then. Burp. <laughs> See, that's some computer programming flame. Your machine even burps? Wow. Senvies, are you farming yellow birds? Yes, Senvies, we're looking for the rainbow bird. Do you know if it's here? I wanted to try and get the outfit. But I've had no luck finding it. And also, Senvis, we got all 14 Stardust, so I think I'm good to move on in the storyline and lock this area out. And thank you for all the help, because it, without you, we probably would have moved past the Stardust we needed. You th oh, maybe I'm completely in the wrong area. Flame says it's here. It's just rare. Okay. Just maybe a crap drop rate. Morgan. NTF's uh, scam at best at this point. It's not implemented well. Most people use crypto to purchase it, but theoretically you could use real world money to purchase the NTFs as well. I don't know. I've seen that they're being auctioned. And I don't know... I don't know enough to speak on them. I think it's interesting. How about that? <laughs> I wouldn't proclaim to know anything really detailed about them. It is an interesting thing, though, that they take these digital artworks and 
they have a unique signature and it makes them rare and people want to bid on them. And I mean, it's those people's money. I guess they do what they want with it. I mean, I could think of a lot of other things I would throw a couple hundred thousand dollars at. <laughs> See if I can get Spinning Cane on this guy. Yes. Uh, the NTF in question that was in the stream, for example, the, the news that I just read, it went for 110000 and I'm like, if I had $110,000, that's, you know, let's just pay off the house, uh, clear all of my debt, clear all of my mom's debt, probably clear off most of my family's debt. I could just give the rest of it away at that point. <laughs> I wouldn't need it. That's so much money. It's like there'd be no point to working anymore. Oh, yeah, I have to discard it. We don't need a body purifier. Oh, let's see. Never mind. I don't know either. The quote is on three-way junction between the snow forest, the town of Bell, and the Dragon Mountain on the moon that never sets. I don't think that's here then because there's no snow area. 110K would be fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's a large pile of money. I think it's a lot of money for art, but if somebody thinks it's worth it, I guess it's worth it. Congratulations to that that artist. <laughs> if they were in debt before they made that piece of art, I think that they're not anymore. Unless they have like a bunch of cars or something, and then that's their own fault. <laughs> if you have a whole bunch of like vehicles and things and you've gone into debt buying a collection of classic cars. Nothing wrong with collecting cars, but I think some people get a bit carried away with stuff like that. It's like when I see somebody in a Ferrari or one of these cars that costs two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, did you really need to spend that much money on that car when, like, you know, twenty-five grand might have gotten you a pretty decent vehicle? I mean, 110k wouldn't be enough to allow me to sell my place. No, I, I guess that's true. In the current housing market, most of the homes are now well above that, depending on where you live. Oh, yours actually, I'm sorry. I know, the housing market's all over the place. Where I currently live, I could probably buy the place that I'm running. I think the owners would sell it if I if I walked up to them with a hundred thousand dollars. I'm pretty sure they'd just cave and sell it. Ow! That's rough, Morgan. Yeah, the housing market went all goofy when COVID hit. Jeez, she missed a like that's like a level one bat. She missed. I think I need to give her the War God Amulet. Oh, Senbis, we did get Burning. We're working on Burning Rush. And as you can see, I actually did get it. <laughs> I'm doing not too bad with it today. Uh, that's what I don't get about people who spend after they win the lottery. Just stay where you are and treat yourself every so often and you literally like never have to work. Yeah, uh, I agree, Flame. I see people who win the lottery and I know you lose a lot in taxes, but I'm confused. They go out and they buy the biggest house they can get, the best car they can get, and then they're broke. It's like, why didn't you just keep it? 
live in a tiny house with a very cheap car and maybe a lovely pet. And you're set. You never have to work again for the rest of your life. You can just do whatever you want. Maybe use the rest of the money for philanthropy. I don't know. Make good donations. Go and help people. No, I, I have to have a Ferrari and a jet. I'd like to have a tiny home. The house I rent actually is fairly big. There's three of us that live here. Occasionally four. Uh, but there's a couple of us that live in the house. It's just a big house. And I'd rather just have a small place by myself. It'd be really nice. I have too many plushies for it. <laughs> oh my gosh, how many plushies do you have, Lasana? I have some. Uh, I don't know. If... No, I'm looking around. I think I could fit them in a small house. But this makes me wonder how many. <laughs> I have over a hundred and I love them all. Aww. Flames like, ah, has one. <laughs> Yeah, that is a great reason, Cat, to, to not need... You need a bigger house if you have too many plushies. <laughs> I, I can't say mine are all plushies. I have a lot of stuffed animals, though, so... <laughs> and Flame's like, but, but, can I have one? I'll consider it. A grumpy cat plushie. Oh, adorable. I have a good many plushies. I don't think I have a hundred. I have some stuffed animals that I value and treasure. I still have my very first stuffed animal. It was a snow leopard that has been worn to bits. It's, it's barely holding on, but I still have it. I treasure that thing. I think if it ever got lost, I, I don't know what I would do. Okay, I actually got a spinning cane off. That's also good today. Ah, I messed it up. Liz, you should have kept quiet. Look, the whole chat's like, can I have one? Can I have one? <laughs> Lasana, you missed your calling. You could have just been a plushy diller. <laughs> you should you should go and work for uh, TY. Yeah. Psst. Hey, you over there. I have a bright blue dolphin. We can we can do this under the table. <laughs> what what? You're not looking for that? Let's see what else I got. <laughs> well, son, I'm glad you have the same image that I do. Because it's... Ex <laughs> That's exactly what I was picturing. I was like, you know, one of those really over big trench coats and you open it up. Instead of paraphernalia or something in there, it's it's like a bunch of loops with beanie babies just strapped everywhere. <laughs> that would be a really heavy trench coat. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. <laughs> it's a great image. <laughs> oh, to be clear, I don't want one of Lissa's plushies. I want a Liss plushie. Ah. Yeah, there you go, Liss. Can you got to merch yourself. Uh, Tinser, check Discord. <laughs> hey kid, you want some plushies? Oh, that's totally going to be a thing in my Discord now. I'm going to have to take that back to them. I am checking Discord, cat. Sorry. I got a little distracted. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Cat just sent me her grumpy cat plushie. That's adorable. <laughs> really is a grumpy cat. Okay, I, I don't know. I think I've had enough of looking for this yellow bird for one day. Oh, even though we're having immense fun talking about plushies, being plushie dealers. <laughs> this is so good. Uh, plushie dealers. Where, where was that, by the way? I should pin that for people who watch this later. I don't remember how to make quotes on here. Fruity always does it for me. I would have had some quotes in here today. Do, do, do. Yeah, Lasani, it might be pretty cute. Yeah, you should totally make a, a merchandise of you if, or see if there's a way to get one made of you. Ah, there it is. I like that. I want it in the stream at least for a little bit. Yeah, I think we're going to start wrapping up the... I've been going for whew, two, two hours and 43 minutes. I didn't even expect that. And I was thinking of having an evening stream, but since we did so much today, I'm not sure I will. I always have a morning stream on Wednesdays. Every now and then we do an evening. I'll have to see how the rest of my day goes and if I can get everything done. If I do, it would probably be around 5.30 or 6. Maybe I'll do just a chatting stream later. I don't know. We got so talkative today. <laughs> and I'm sorry we didn't get much uh, progress in the story. Because we were looking for this bird. Let me quickly get caught up with chat. Too bad plushies are one of the most expensive things to make for merch. Yeah, I can only imagine that they're very expensive. I keep the plushies in a pile at the end of my bed. The cuddle puddle? What? That's, that's such a cute terminology for a pile. I love it. It sounds like a mission to me. Oh, Flame, you have like a million missions you're doing. <laughs> but leave it to you. You turn it into a mission. Ah, thank you, Morgan. I'm not very good with commands. Morgan should know this. He's been in here several times while I struggle. Let me try. I have it set up, but Fruity does it. Well, it didn't bring the quote up. It just said quote at number four added. Okay, that works. I wanted that in there. Bye, cat. I'll see you in a bit. To be fair, I commandeered like 15 minutes of that. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Flame. That Flame, I'm still speechless about that. It's going to take me all day to process. Nice. Thank you, Morgan. Yeah, I came up. Oh, here, let me back out of this. See if we can find somebody. Hello, Willis. Welcome. We're going to be ending soon. I've been going a lot longer than I intended. You came in right at the end. It's okay. It's still good to see you, Willis. Even though I'll probably see you over in Cat's room. I appreciate just coming in and saying hi. Oh no, Morgan, if you're looking at some of the quotes, they're they're we've got some goofy ones. <laughs> I like quote number two is great. <laughs> I 
<laughs> kids want some plushies? That's it's there now. Lasada number four. Uh, that's another one of my favorites. I don't know what that is either, but kill it until it dies to death. <laughs> oh. I love the quote system. I, I let Fruity grab the quotes when we find some interesting ones. I like taking them out of context. <laughs> like, I'm glad it doesn't save the game or the time that we were playing. Just makes it more interesting and fun. I'll just sit here on the uh, menu music while we look for someone to raid. I could go over to the cat's room. She's just getting set up. Let me go see if I can find a place for us all, you guys, to go lurk. I'll have to go over to cat's room at least because I I got I'll mod for her while I'm recovering, trying to get my food. Who who who? The more you know, because knowledge is power, and power corrupts, so study hard and be evil. That's yours, Morgan. <laughs> that quote, I can tell you, Lasada, came from Morgan. <laughs> he was my first person to get quoted, because I loved it so much, and it made me laugh so hard. All right, thank you guys for all showing up. It's been... An amazing and overwhelming, very emotional stream. I enjoyed it. Didn't get anything done in the game, but that's okay. <laughs> it just happens. We do need to save. So while we're busy chit-chatting, let's save. Look for someone to go to. And then I'm going to have to make some food because my tummy is empty. I have a sandwich I'm going to go put together, though. I have ever, all the dressings for a, an Italian sub. Sorry if I just made everybody hungry, by the way. I don't know how much. But it's going to be a good sub sandwich. It's like going to be a six-inch long Italian sub with all the works, the dressings, and oh, everything. Thank you, Nem, for that last-minute donation to the next playthrough. You guys are totally going to pick my next playthrough. I honestly have no idea what you guys are going to pick, but it'll be good. The rules for that are in the Discord, guys, if you want to. I think. Maybe I haven't posted that yet. Maybe I just dreamed I posted it. Gosh dang it. I'll get better at this whole rating thing. Maybe automate a bot that does both of these. Okay, so there's raid message. I'm going to put those up first because sometimes I forget to do this and then we raid and I didn't put them up. So raid messages for wherever we're going. Uh, first one's for subscribers. Second one is if you're not subscribed. Let me see who's on. Might just be Cat because I have no idea. I haven't been keeping up with uh, who's on at the moment. And that's fine. I don't mind going to Cat's. Oh, Sleepy Ella's on. I do like, I like Sleepy Ella and I like seeing Midori and I haven't been over there. I wanted to raid Cat, but I, I just did that the other day and I try to make someone different each day of the week. When I can, when I can help it. Do you guys mind? Do you want to go and see Sleepy Ella? If any of you haven't met Sleepy Ella, she's an adorable human being and her dog is adorable. Thank you for the gear cleanup. Or, well, you know what? Cat was in our channel. And even though I raided her yesterday, it's just I don't get to raid Sleepy Fox much. Choices. What do you guys think? If there's anybody still in the chat. I try to raid a different person each day. So I think I should stick to that. 
I know me and Willis and Flame are probably going to head back over. Yeah, I was going to say Willis and me will probably all head back over to Kat's room. So I think I'll leave you guys uh, off with Ella. I like hosting Ella um, because I like to try and keep PG channels hosted on there when I can as well. So we're all going to go and say hi to Ella because I haven't been over there in like two weeks, maybe. I think that might have been the last time I got to go to her place. I don't have to give a raid warning or anything that way. If there's anybody who's watching right now and they're under, she has a family safe channel. Let's go say to Ella, uh, say hi to Ella and Midori. See you guys all next time. Like I said, I might be on later. If not, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.